The resultant of a set of forces is the single force that would produce the same effect as all the given forces acting together. If the resultant is zero, the body acted upon is said to be in equilibrium or balance with regard to the applied forces. The place where the entire weight of an object may be considered to act is called the center of gravity. The torque or turning effect of a force about a given center is measured by the force times the distance of the center from the line of the force. If a body is to be in equilibrium or balance with regard to rotation, the sum of all the clockwise torques must equal the sum of all the counterclockwise torques. An important kind of force is the gravitational attraction that exerts between any two bodies. Work is the product of force by the distance the point of application moves in the direction of the force. Work is done only when a force succeeds in moving the body it acts upon. The quantity of work done is the amount of the force multiplied by the distance moved in the direction in which the force acts. Work may be expressed as any force unit times any distance unit. Mechanical energy is measured by the amount of work a body can do. The energy of a moving body is called kinetic energy. While at its highest level, the body is said to have potential energy known as energy of position. An example of this potential energy would be when work is stored in the spring as elastic potential energy or steam under pressure and a charged storage battery. A body is measured by how much work it can be gotten out of and power is the rate of doing work divided by time. These are all physical changes and the material keeps it identifying characteristics all the while. But when wood burns or concrete hardens or cream turns sour, there is in each case a more permanent change and new substances are formed which are now referred to as chemical changes known as atoms and molecules. This is your cosmic guide. As we observe the Milky Way, let us continue. Please stay tuned.